So one of the YouTube viewers, after watching uh, one of my videos on how to install um, XRDP and connect to it via the Windows uh, Terminal Services client, uh, asked me a question of how how to actually connect multi-user to uh, one desktop. So here I have one uh, virtual machine of uh, Ubuntu, and I'm going to log in here. And by default, I have it on just uh, your default Ubuntu. You'll notice I actually uh, installed a lot of desktop environments, GNOME, KDE, um, Lumbutu, Ubuntu, and XFCE, and XUbuntu. Um, so I'm going to actually log into each different one simultaneously. So let me just log in here first. So this this is basically logging into uh, the physical machine here, and I'm going to pull up uh, several Windows uh, remote desktop, and my uh, IP address to this machine here is ten thirty three fifty five dot two. So it's a it's a virtual machine, so it's loading up a little bit slowly, and the version of Ubuntu that I have is actually um, uh, thirteen point one zero. So I'm gonna decline the upgrade here. So you notice it's Ubuntu thirteen point one zero that I have. Uh, so I logged in. I have a couple of users here that I added and the way I added it was going into the settings and going into user accounts and I added three other user accounts uh, Johnny, Jane, Joey, Jimmy and each one actually has a different um, desktop environment that I'm going to log into so let me do that now so I'm, I'm actually going to remote desktop into this instance here four times. So the first time around I'm gonna log in as Johnny and you'll notice let me bring it up here Johnny uh, here has the X session set up um, as let's see I can't quite XF Xubuntu or XFCE. So if I go to my home directory, you'll see this is oh Lumbutu, not uh, XFCE. So that's the first desktop, and I'm logged in as Johnny there. Now I'm going to log in here as Jane. So the user, the YouTube uh, viewer, was wondering whether multiple users can actually log into this one physical machine here that I have of Ubuntu, and so I'm demonstrating here that uh, this is exactly what I'm doing. So I'm already logged in as two different users, and you'll notice the home directory is different. This is Johnny and this is Jane, and if I go to, you'll notice this is a different desktop. So each each person can customize their own desktop when they remotely log in. Um, so let me show you which X desktop environment this is. So this here, Jane is using is SFCE, and I'm gonna log in as Joey now. My third desktop, Rem uh, RDPing in. And I'm gonna log in as Joey. And Joey will also have his own separate desktop. So here's Lumbutu, here's XFCE, and this is KDE. Alright, there you go. So this is KDE. 
and I'll, I'll show you another video how, how I actually set each one of these up uh, in, in one of my other videos I already set up GNOME, the GNOME session, the GNOME desktop um, and how to RDP into that both the fallback session and the 2D session um, so let me just go to uh, the terminals utilities bring up a terminal here and Joey you'll you'll notice is actually using KDE the K desktop so let me show you how that is set up so you notice this is start KDE that's the command that actually starts the um, X X desktop session whereas this is the cam command for the XFCE and this is actually the command for LXDE or uh, the LX desktop environment or Lumbutu as it's known so um, so these are already three des three users logging into this one instance at the same time So let me log in a fourth time, and, and this one actually won't work. Th this I'm actually logged in as the uh, Ubuntu, and it's it's not going to work. And lots of people have had issues with this. Uh, I myself also had an issue. It at some point it actually worked, um, but then when I moved to uh, uh, it actually worked in Windows 8.1 but when I let's see the last person is Jimmy that I'm gonna log in as but but when I actually uh, move this VM over to Windows 7 it actually stopped working uh, I'm not quite sure it probably has to do with the hardware acceleration or um, some type of supported configuration that uh, this particular setup doesn't support and you'll notice when it doesn't support it it'll, it'll just have this blank screen and that's the blank screen a lot of people are getting so um, you know if, if, if you're getting this uh, go see my other video on how to set up XRDP and you could choose any one of these um, basically you could choose any one of these desktops here and um, I'll, I'll go through in my other videos uh, kind of how to how, how to uh, set up uh, all of these different desktops in, in my one video I actually have the GNOME fallback and uh, the GNOME Ubuntu 2D and 3D that I'm demonstrating and I'll, I'll do another video that shows how to set these up which is exactly the same way except that the command that you have in the .x session file is different for each one of these. So for uh, the LX desktop environment and for the XFCE environment and also here for this KDE is different. Uh, but that's really the only thing different and what you install is different but the whole process is the same. Uh, but, but in this video in particular I just wanted to demonstrate uh, that you, you could have a multi-user environment and and I could actually check here to see who's logged in so if I go to my terminal and I type in who you, you'll see in in different terminals this is uh, terminal 7 which which is the physical terminal Johnny's logged in you'll see uh, Johnny's logged in to this one uh, Jane is logged into this one or yeah and Joey's logged into KDE and apparently Joey's logged in twice and Jimmy is not even logged in so alright um, so that this here video just demonstrates the multi-user aspects of it uh, thank you for watching